Hi everyone, so it's my first day at the beach and these are my pajamas. They're not my street clothes. Um, so our breakfast started out by being a witness to an accident and we had to give our name and addresses. We watched this older dude back up into this younger dude's car on a main highway. And we kind of knew that it would be like his word against the other guy's word. So and we knew that the younger guy's insurance would probably triple. So we gave him our name and address saying it was totally 100% the other guy's fault. So they were very grateful. And um, so that's how our day started out. We went to Anthony's. Now I am not smoking a cigarette. This is a CBD cigarette because as you see, looks the filter looks a little bit different because I my granddaughter and I had a long talk last night I was we were trying to find a restaurant because see you have to wear a mask everywhere on the beach now you can't go to get in unless you have a mask on so we took a three-hour nap when we got here and then we were at nine o'clock we're trying to look for a place to eat and uh i was driving at night which i don't do and i actually was very scared because i was putting my granddaughter's life in danger because i couldn't see i couldn't see at all because i'm also driving a vehicle that i've never driven before at night so i'm trying to get used to it because i drove a little compact mustang for 20 years so now i'm in a cadillac so so the width and everything is different i don't even see the hood on the cadillac so i told my granddaughter from now on she is going to have to drive me at night yeah So we got to eat at Anthony's. She, my granddaughter paid for everything because I just did not have any money. I feel so bad. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> this is why I don't smoke. Okay. So we walked, I guess, down 20 streets. And then I told her when I start saying, Al, it's time for me to come back. So we, it was a very difficult time trying to find a restaurant that you could go in and sit down. And all I wanted was like one piece of pizza and a beer. And we finally found a place, but um, Tony's Pizza. But then my granddaughter saw one of the cooks wipe the sweat off his brow and then go back to making the dough on the pizza. And she was mortified. And we had already been standing in line for 10, 20 minutes. So then we went to Bull on the Beach. And we got the biggest wings we could find. Oh, my God. I mean, not, not we could find, but biggest wings I've ever been served. And the biggest pickle. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she got a pickle. So she bought my lunch, too. So last night, we actually ate at the 7-Eleven. I'm telling you what, 7-Eleven is not cheap. Um, I got a banana. That was my dinner. So, uh, now we're going to take another nap and everybody on the boardwalk was polite. There's no protest. Everybody was cordial. Um, the one thing that did bother me is that we would go into stores and the adult would have on a mask, but not their children. To me, that was very alarming. And I'm thinking maybe they don't love their children. I don't know what the hell, but let me tell you what I've decided to start a campaign for all the people who have been abused by all the Karens in the world, all the African American and anybody with um, from other nationalities who've been abused by the Karens. I think we should start some kind of a fund. I don't know how to do that, but for all the people who had the cops called them for stupid stuff like barbecuing in the park or someone who's trying to save a space and standing in the parking space. There's so many of the, like the Becky barbecues and the Karens of the world. I mean, it's getting really ridiculous. Yeah. I have never been a Karen. No. Nor would I want to be. I don't look like a Karen, do I? All right, bye everyone.